Alright you guys, so for this week's video, I'm going to show you how to wear bright colored eyeshadow and still have a wearable look that you could go like food shopping with. I mean, maybe not food shopping, but you get what I'm saying. Just something you can go out in and not feel like you have on full glam, unless that's your thing. Okay, No judgment here. But yeah, it was very simple, um, pretty quick. I did take my foundation off once because it just was not cooperating with me but yeah very simple I use two products for my eyes three if you count the mascara and yeah so if you guys want to see how to get this more wearable bright eyeshadow look keep watching alright so starting off my eyebrows are done uh, I just gotta clean them up a little bit with some concealer, which is gonna prime them also. My hair's a little wet. I slept like an animal, so I had to re-wet my hair. But conceal this is in 40 medium and a little brush and just clean up my brows and then we'll get right into the rest of the makeup. So there are a few different ways that you can do your makeup and have a pop of color without looking like you have a full-on bright red cut crease or something. You can do um, pops of color on your lash line, water line, eyeliner, like wing liner. You can do a pop of color on your inner corner, whatever. But today I wanted to do something a little bit more bold, but still not like crazy cut crease type of thing that I'll do on my Instagram. So yeah, let's get started. I'm going to use my Take Me Back to Brazil palette. And I think today I'm going to use the, the lightest blue shade right here. I'm not going to zoom you guys in too much. I still want you to be able to see my whole face. Um, I just brought you a little bit closer than when we started so you get a better view of my eyes. But yeah, I'm going to take that light blue and this is a Furless ME3 brush. It's just a tiny little crease type brush and I'm going to put some of that blue on my brush I'm gonna get the creases off my eyes because I feel like if I don't the um, the eyeshadow gets creasy but I've seen people not get the creases out and they just blend it like perfectly and there's nothing there but I don't know that doesn't really work for me, so I always have to get rid of the crease. Um, I have the blue here, and I'm just going to go around my crease a little bit. You guys can see that I'm um, patting it on before blending it. That's just going to give you better pigment. So you kind of tap it on and press it into your eyelid, and then you can blend it through your crease. And don't bring it up too high. You still want your brow bone to be kind of clear and not have um, a lot of product on it. Just make sure you blend out the edges and that there's no harsh lines or anything. So we got all of that blue in the crease. And depending on what you want for the day, you can put more blue on your lid and just make it light and blended. Or you can put a little bit of a shimmer. Uh, Right now, I'm just going to pop some of that same blue color on my eyelids. Alright, so I'm going to go do the same thing to this eye, and I'll be right back. It looks a little bit crazy right now, just because all you see is blue eyes. There's nothing under here, and I have no other makeup on, so it looks a little bit like... But, yeah... Um, I'm going to add a little bit of a shimmer shadow just so you guys can see different options of what you can do. So you can go out just like this with your regular um, face makeup, however you like to do that. Um, or, I'm taking the ColourPop shadow. This is in Sailor. And this is a really pretty color. It's all like mushed around because I had to. it got dried up so I had to re um, like mix it. I had to put glycerin in it. But it looks like a tan shadow but when you move it around there's like blue reflex in it and it's just very pretty 
So I'm going to grab a little bit of this and just put it on my lids. I'm going to focus on like my inner lid, so just right around here. So I'm going to go work on the rest of my face makeup and then I'll come back and show you how to finish up your eyes and what else to do to make it not such a bold and crazy look. And I'm just going to line my lips with this. Just my natural lip shape. And then um, I'm going to throw on a little bit of lip balm and then some lashes. So I just lightly filled my lips, my whole lips in with that after I lined them. And now I'm just going to pat on a little bit of lip balm and then blot just to get any excess product off. Alright, so right now I'm going to throw on some mascara. Uh, no lashes just because I want it to be a little bit more simple. So I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. So I'll be right back. So the mascara is on. Nothing too crazy. I just want it to be a little simple and that you can actually tell that I have lashes, you know. So... This is basically it. This is more of an aesthetic-y, artsy kind of look. It's not like a beauty look. It doesn't require that much skill, I guess. It's just very, it's very simple. It's not like a full-on cut crease, ten colors are blended in type of thing, you know? But, I mean, it's very simple. I think I would be comfortable going out like this. I don't know. Let me know if you guys would be comfortable going out with a look like this. Alright, you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you would go out and look like this. Or what color you like best with your eyes. Uh, products will be down below. You should go follow my Instagram because I will be posting a full picture of this look, and you can see some, and you can see some of my other looks. And yeah, subscribe if you like this video. Let me know what you want to see next week. And yeah, I love you guys so much. So again, thank you guys. I love you.